Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm very excited to tell you that Parallels 18 for Mac has just released. So this is the latest update to what is the best virtual machine software for Apple Silicon and Macs, and it's fully capable of running Windows 11 ARM, as well as plenty of Windows games and applications, including AAA titles. So today I'm gonna to be talking about some of the new features of Parallels Desktop 18, as well as looking at the long awaited fix for controller support. We're also gonna be looking at gaming performance and seeing how this has improved from Parallels 17 to the new version Parallels 18. This video is also going to include a fully updated tutorial on getting Windows 11 ARM working with Parallels Desktop 18. And we're also going to be looking at the slightly controversial price increase. So please make sure to watch until the end of the video to see how bad it really is. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is to install Windows 11 ARM within Parallels Desktop version 18. So first thing is to download Parallels. If you'd like to support the channel, then please make sure to click the link at the top of the description. If you make a purchase, then it'll help to support this channel and the content that I create. Once you've clicked the link, you'll be taken to the Parallels website. And what you can do now is to click the Buy Now button. So I'm gonna click on here now, click on New License. So you have various editions of Parallels that you can choose from. The two most relevant ones are Parallels Home and Student or Parallels Pro. The main difference between the standard and pro editions is the amount of RAM and CPU cores that can be allocated. Now, I've done a video before about how the standard edition is gonna be enough for most people. There's actually quite a negligible difference between running four CPU cores versus say six CPU cores. Also having beyond eight gigabytes of RAM has very little difference in actual game performance. And the biggest difference that people are gonna notice is the fact that the standard edition is eligible for this particular version of Parallels 18, which is most likely to get updates for the rest of the year until Parallels 19 gets released next year. However, with the Pro Edition, you're paying for a subscription. So if Parallels 19 comes out next year, you're gonna be eligible for that edition too. So here what you can do is select an edition of Parallels and click Buy Now. You also have the ability to add the coupon code AppleWiki10. Now this coupon code isn't always active. When Parallels is doing certain promotions or certain new releases, then this won't be valid, but all the other times you'll be able to get a 10% discount. Alternatively, you can also download the free trial. I'm gonna click on this now. And this allows us to try out the software for free for 14 days. If you do decide to upgrade then please make sure to follow the link again and you'll be helping to support the channel. So here I'm going to press download free trial, press OK and let the Parallels DMG download. So what we're going to do now is go to Finder and then go to our downloads folder. Then we're going to find the install Parallels Desktop DMG and then double click. And now we're going to go ahead and install Parallels Desktop and then double click. Here it's asking us if we're sure we want to open it. We're going to press open anyway. And here it's asking us to agree to the end user license agreement. I'm going to press accept and that's going to go ahead and download the rest of the software. So now it's saying it's installing Parallels Desktop and now it's verifying the application. Here we're gonna type in our local user password and press okay. So now we're gonna be met with this installation assistant. Here we're gonna press continue. And then here we're gonna create a new virtual machine. We're gonna press this button to get Windows 11 from Microsoft. So here we're gonna press continue. And what this is gonna do is gonna download Windows 11 ARM directly. We don't have to sign up to the Windows Insider program. This handles all of the installation and downloading for us. So just wait for that to complete downloading. Now it's saying that it's validating. And now the setup wizard is loading up. Here it's starting the standard Windows 11 setup process. So here it's saying the installation is complete. We're gonna press click to continue. Here we're gonna accept the Windows 11 license agreement. So now this is saying that Windows has installed successfully. We can go ahead and minimize this. And we can already see that the settings menu is asking us to download an update. So what I do suggest that you do is download any necessary updates. If you wanna install some games, probably the first thing you wanna do is go to steampower.com and install Steam. And this works exactly the same as on any other kind of Windows computer. We just download and install Steam. And despite the fact that this is an x86 application, it's actually being emulated by Windows 11 ARM and it works great on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So all you have to do is just log into your Steam account and then go ahead and download various games. Not all of them are gonna work. If you wanna find out more about compatibility for parallels and also alternatives like crossover, then please make sure to check out the website applegamingwiki.com. So games like Fallout New Vegas do run quite well. However, this is a bit of an older game. So if we test out a newer game, for example, Titanfall 2, you'll see that performance is not too bad, especially as this is quite a graphically intensive game. And there's also the fact that this is an x86 application being emulated to the ARM operating system and we're also running this in a virtual machine as well. And interestingly, it does seem like Parallels 18 is actually running games slightly faster than Parallels 17. So this is the benchmark for Hitman Absolution and we're getting an average of just under two frames per second faster on Parallels 18. I'm gonna be doing some more game performance testing in the future. However, this does look promising. 
Another neat improvement with Parallels 18 is massively improved controller support. So it used to be the case that with Parallels 16 and 17, there was a long-standing bug with controllers and how they wouldn't be detected by Windows 11 ARM, despite the fact that there is Bluetooth pass-throughs. However, this is very buggy and we had to use various workarounds in order to get it to work correctly. However, this has now all been fixed using Parallels 18, so I'm just going to demonstrate this now. So here I've got the DualSense controller attached to macOS Ventura. And we don't have a Bluetooth device pass through here. However, if I go to gamepad-tester.com, you can see here that this is being detected by Windows 11 ARM under Parallels 18 as an Xbox controller. And I'll go ahead and load up the game Towerfall Ascension. So now that we're in the Towerfall menu, you can see that the controller is fully supported. There's no other work that needs to be done. So the game does detect the controller as an Xbox controller, but other than that, it all works perfectly fine. So another new feature of Parallels Pro is the network conditioner, which allows us to simulate different network conditions. For example, I can make the virtual machine behave as if it's on a 3G connection. I could also use this to limit the bandwidth that the virtual machine uses, for example, if I'm downloading loads of Steam games. Parallels 18 also brings support for some of the new macOS Ventura features, for example, Stage Manager. What Stage Manager will do will allow you to quickly switch between windows. So I can go between the game here and Safari and just switch back and forth very easily. I can also go to, say, Finder and go back to the game. And it all works seamlessly with Stage Manager. So the last big change you're going to be talking about is the fact that Parallels 18 is substantially more expensive than Parallels 17 used to be. And I can understand why Parallels Desktop haven't been shouting out about this. What we're looking at is a $20 increase for the Home and Pro editions, as well as a whopping $50 per year increase for Business Editions too. However, the fact remains that Parallels is the only software that can play Windows AAA titles using its 3D acceleration. You could turn to other virtual machine software that's free, for example, UTM, or I did a recent video on VMware Fusion. However, these are not capable of 3D graphics acceleration, and so you can run some games. However, if you want to run some AAA titles, for example, the game Control, or even something like Persona 5 Strikers, then you're going to need to use software like Parallels. And furthermore, Parallels is far easier to use. So even basic things like the Windows 11 installation process is much, much easier to do on Parallels than it is to do on UTM or VMware Fusion. So as far as I'm concerned, Parallels is definitely the leader in the market for Windows 11 on Apple Silicon Macs, and they deserve all the money that they're charging. If you are looking to save a little bit of money, then please make sure to check out my other video, which is all about whether you need to activate Windows 11 ARM and whether or not this actually complies with Microsoft's end user licensing agreement. VMware Fusion also recently released a build that now officially supports Windows 11 ARM. So if you'd like to check that out, then please make sure to click on the link in the description. So anyway, I'd love to know what you guys think about Parallels 18. What are the best new changes? What are the worst? Please make sure to leave a comment. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it useful. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.